We're now learning what went wrong when a Broward County Sheriff's Office helicopter crashed into an apartment complex. Two people were killed in that crash. It happened a week ago. Suji Nam joining us now in the studio with that preliminary crash report. Suji? Felicia, well, NTSB officials released details of the pilot's interviews describing the moments leading up to the fatal crash. Three first responders were on board a Broward Sheriff's Office helicopter on the morning of August 28th. They were on their way to transport a patient from a car accident in North Lauderdale. And on the way there, the helicopter caught on fire before crashing into a nearby apartment complex. Now, the report said, quote, the pilot heard a bang from the rear of the helicopter and noticed that the turbine outlet temperature was rising on the number one engine. The pilot then, quote, declared an emergency to air traffic control and reversed direction to return to the airport. The report then goes on to say, quote, the pilot subsequently heard a second bang and was unable to control the helicopter. It spun and descended into an apartment building. Now, the pilot had minor injuries while another paramedic was seriously injured and the third paramedic, Broward Chair Fire Rescue Captain Terrison Jackson died from the crash. A woman who lived in the apartment complex also has died. A consultant's report presented to the Broward County Commission in 2017 said that the specific helicopter should have been replaced more than 10 years ago. That helicopter was manufactured in 1999 and its most recent inspection was in May. And the Broward County Sheriff's Office grounded the remaining three helicopters for reinspection. In the studio, I'm Suji Nam for WPBF 25 News. Thank <laughs> you.